Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz is now the Democratic nominee for vice president, and Republicans are triggered. They're just trying to use Waltz as hick bait. Waltz is the Bernie Sanders of Democratic governors. He's like a fat, bald, stupid Genghis Khan. Now, if you aren't familiar with Waltz, he's basically the guy Republicans cosplay as. And on top of that, he's a remarkably effective governor. Here are just a few things he's signed into law this session. So it's really no wonder Republicans, and especially Fox News, are totally panicking. I mean, listen to this. Walt spent his honeymoon in China. <laughs> He's being groomed by the Chinese. Conservatives are improvising their attack strategy against Walt in real time. Problem is, to a lot of voters, those attacks might sound like endorsements. Walt has a 100% rating from Planned Parenthood. He supported universal free school meals. Menstrual products for all menstruating students. Signed a law making abortion a fundamental right. Free health benefits. He was all about toppling the Columbus Statue. Republicans have spent the last two weeks trying to convince the rest of us they're not weird. I'm not sure railing against universally popular policies is the way to do that. Neither is being super mask off racist. They're going to turn the entire Midwest into Mogadishu. This guy changed the flag of the state to look more like Somalia. A lot of this stems from the right's unpreparedness. For the most part, they expected Governor Josh Shapiro to be the VP nominee, which means their prepped attacks about liberal coastal elites and Josh Shapiro's personal skeletons are essentially useless. So I guess for now, the plan is to call Tim Waltz and his agenda radical before describing very normal, popular policies. Why don't you return the surplus to the people? He's like, no, I'm gonna start buying school lunches. I'm going to start paying for school. The truth is, Tim Waltz has a record of bipartisanship. We came together across party lines and put a down payment on the future of Minnesota. But as governor, Waltz hasn't let party lines or ideological labels get in the way from signing legislation into law. And that idea is completely foreign to Republicans. For them, tribalism is everything. See, this is the same old tribal thinking. It's like with Biden's infrastructure bill. Republicans love to take credit for the money that's now in their communities, despite the fact they voted against the bill. And they voted against the bill because it was from Joe Biden. They were putting party lines over actually passing legislation, you know, doing their jobs. But it's not just his political record. Right now, Tim Walt seems like a remarkably clean candidate in his personal life. He's a family guy who loves his pets. He's an army veteran, former high school football coach, school teacher. He doesn't even own any stocks. So okay. he's never invested in America. In the, and that's why this Republican reaction is so goddamn funny. For the last two weeks, Republicans have been flailing in their attacks against Harris. They basically just complained about her laugh and overanalyzed her race. It's all very off-putting. Kamala loves a good laugh. <laughs> Harris's VP choice was supposed to open a new avenue of attack for conservatives. But instead, we're getting this. You'll see the true Marxist radical that he actually is. Yeah, because if there's anything America hates, it's a veteran car guy school teacher who loves roller coasters. <laughs> 